Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Our viewers, we thank God that you are there. We acknowledge your presence. Those who are watching us on YouTube, Facebook, and on uh, Topstar, channel 112. <clears throat> I don't know how you feel about the name Jesus and the way you see it. I don't know. But the way I see the name Jesus, I see it as a, the center of life. As long as you cannot carry Jesus or see his presence in your life, the life that you are living is not a complete life. Yes. Everything that you need, including your good health, is in him. There is no way you can leave people of God here on earth because of money, because of education, because of marriage or children. You can cry for the children. I need, you know, uh, God bless me, bless me, bless me. God will give you the children. It doesn't mean that you will live peacefully. No. You start crying for another thing. But if God gave you Jesus, 
you are the happiest person in this world. You live a very, you know, health life, full of peace, full of understanding. Why? Jesus is the means of life. He is the reason you are there. There is no way you can claim anything if it is not Jesus. What are you going to do with the life of God without Jesus? Can you drive, you know, a, a caterpillar without someone to teach you how to drive that caterpillar? I can just, you know, wake up one day and say, I'm looking for where they employ uh, those who, who, who fly a uh, aeroplane. Hmm? Have got a uh, class B. Can you fly an aeroplane with a, a C1 or, or C? No. They have to sit you down to say, Pamdala, this one cannot be a drive the way you drive Colola or Land Colusa. No, sit down. Mm -hmm. Start leading here. They have to take you that, you know, you go through that process. After that, they will take you now to Plakatko. After that, you follow the people who fly, you know, those uh, aeroplanes. You see the way uh, how to uh, fly a plane, how to take off, how to land, how to do this. I witnessed one day when I was coming from Lusaka to Ndola, I said, ah, this is why a pilot is a very disciplined person. They don't overlook the instructions. Everything they saw on the dashboard, they'll keep on writing. While it's what? Driving and writing. I said, ah, praise the Lord. That is life, people of God. If it is not easy for you to fly a plane, it is not easy for you to live without Jesus. Come on, church. If it is not easy for you to fly a plane, it is not easy for you to live without Jesus. He is the supremacy of life. And God invested his supremacy in him. So that he can cover everything. Let's go to Colossians. Jesus is the reason why you are there. You understand this? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Jesus is the reason why you are there. Why you are blessed. Why you are promoted. Why you are getting married. Yes, he is the reason why you want to, you know, to, to, to reach that old age. If it is just a pressure to be old, you cannot. By what means? But it is the reason why you are there. God cannot create all of us to come and enjoy and start behaving like uh, we, we, we created by ours. Look at the way we behave when you, you have something in your pocket or maybe when you are promoted or when you occupy a position. You look at Nebuchadnezzar. He thought he is the overlord boss. He controls everything. Because he looks here, there he see plenty money. Workers, when he is walking, everyone is clapping. No. Let's go to verse 15. Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. Listen to 15. The sun is the image of the invisible God. The first over all creation. That is Jesus. 16. For in him all things were created. I find it very difficult to leave a message like this one. I try to, you know, to leave. Let me just go and see the Spirit of God to push me back to this. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is the invisible, I mean, the image of the invisible God. Have you ever seen God standing? At least you, you, you saw Jesus. Even if you are not there, your forefathers who were there saw Jesus. You can just, you know, picture it. 
Not the one you watch on the Jesus movie. Please, that one is not is the appearance of Jesus. No. That one is just a human being like you. You understand? The movie you watch and the Jesus who acts as Jesus is not the original Jesus. That one is just an actor. Like a movie what? Actor. He's not Jesus. Maybe he's a Christian or a religious person. But the Bible said that the son is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of, over all creation. 16. For in him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers. Rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. Can you build a house, your own house, and your house cannot allow you to enter? Are you going to be happy? Anything that you are working for must benefit your future. Jesus is the reason why you are called a child of God. Before he came to this life, your life was like a, 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 a human being without hope or direction. He is the reason why you are called believers. He is the reason why you are called Christians. And there is no way you can pray without mentioning the name Jesus. Even evil powers fear the name Jesus. Even Satan himself feared the name Jesus. Even a witch. Go and ask these people who gather in the night for their own business. They don't even allow to mention the name Jesus in their meeting. When they are talking about Jesus, they will just say, that man, the tall man. You hear the confession of evil spirit. If you say, mention the No, I cannot mention the name. Why? That name you treat like he, your grandfather's name. It is the name with solution. It is the name with life. It is the name with protection. It is the name with weapons. It is the name with success. And you treat that name like a, your grandfather's what? Name. You are making a very big mistake to yourself. All things were created for him and through him. Even you. You are there because of Jesus. If it is not Jesus, God has got nothing to do with you. For you to reach God, you must go through Jesus. Praise the Lord. He is before all things, and in him, all things hold together. All things hold what? Come on, people of God. What does it mean to you and me as Christians? If you are not part of Jesus, ah, I don't know for this one. Your life will be miserable. In him, all things hold what? Together. Even the church, the church without Jesus is just a, a, a crab. The knowledge that you acquire from your fellow human beings Cannot take you anywhere. Okay, if I become a lecturer today and I can teach theology, because that is what you know I learned from someone. And then here is the man that comes from Jesus. He has been sent by Jesus. Not even teaching you how to lead, what is demonology, what is that. He just gives you Jesus to say, oh, Jesus has sent me that you should do. Carry him inside your heart and go and preach. <clears throat> Here is Jesus. Meaning, the whole entire Bible is inside you. The power of God is inside you. The authority is inside you. Understanding is inside you. Prophecy is in you. Wisdom is in you. Authority is all over the place where you'll be found. That is Jesus. He always dominates. He controls. 
Do you know that even snake listen to Jesus? They cannot go against him. I was listening to the song sung by our brother, Pastor Morris. I have never, you know, you know, come across of that song. It was the time we are going to Kabwe, then Bamswanda put it on the, on the, on the radio. Where I said, we unfokulanda kwa bachibulo. We wa ishiba language yabo. Pantu na nfie muwana. Uwe nfio muikala na nkwe. Kano fia mipela ama saini. Kulila sata kwa bana saini. Ifi ne tuikeri ya pefio muleto ntonkanya. Mumpa shefio mulelanda. Nga tafiribu ino. Nishina mumpa shita muribu ino. Nga firibu ino na mumpa shini shimulishani. So, paguti fiobe we know unless we are kata kuri yesu. Ichalo trimo na chishupa. I was telling my wife the other day we are coming. I saw a sister, a, a very, you know, beautiful a young, wearing a, a, a trouser and a, a cashot thing here. All this is out. And she was even walking like, a, a, like this. I said, ah, this one is the latest. This one is what? Where are we going as human beings? We are now becoming, you know, like animals. It is only animal cannot, you know, wear any clothes. Human beings are like God himself. What we are lacking is the controller of your feelings and your thinking. And that person is Jesus. This is why we are behaving like animals. In the near future, you see people wearing just black. Mm. And they'll be walking like this. Human rights is at work. Mm. Human rights cannot save your life or give you salvation. It is Jesus, the hope of life. Why, you know, can't you honor this man? He paid the price. So that you and me, we can live and see another day. You were created for him and it is through him. And it is him to use you. If you buy two vehicles, can you allow someone to come and pick your vehicle minus your knowledge? No. You have bought those two vehicles for your own what? Program. But look at our behavior. Look at our behavior. How can... They are all human beings walk like that. Look at our dress code. We have gone beyond the boundaries. We have gone beyond what? When you go down like this, you wear something, and the inside, the color will be shown through what you are wearing. Tell me if the brother who is behind you and is battling with the spirit of lust, he will control himself. He will not. He will not. Why are you living like that? The Bible says that all things work together. Through who? Jesus. You are not part of Jesus. Jesus cannot allow you to live anyhow. He cannot allow Satan to rubbish and destroy his temple. No. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And he is the head of the body. The church. He is the beginning and the first. From among the head. I mean the dead. So that in everything he might have what? He might have what? The supremacy. If you can define that word. You have been to school. You understand this. Or you open the dictionary. You agree with me that indeed we are not obedient to Jesus. Jesus cannot control you. And the greatest gift which God gave to human beings is the right to make decisions. You can choose to be a bad person if you like. Or you choose to be a good person. Choice is yours. Choice is Ah. 
For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him. I, let, let's hope you are there. Let's go to 19. If you have got a Bible. This is 19. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him. Remember, Jesus became as what? A ransom, a sacrifice for your restoration or reconciliation. So if you cannot connect yourself to him, you are still living by the standard of this world. Make no mistake, you can even, you know, I mean, you can have money or you are educated. It doesn't mean that what you have become, then Jesus is part of you. First of all, you need to understand that Jesus cannot be deceived the way you can deceive your fellow human beings. His interest is not your appearance. It is the inside. This is what I was telling. Uh, we had two services yesterday uh, before I got to our main venue. I was somewhere in Wacha conducting a, a, a church program with the Kabwe pastors. I told them, I said, look, men of God, when God sent Samuel to go and anoint one of Jesus' son, he did not look at the appearance. The Hyatt, or how big you are. No. The heart of David attracted God Almighty. When Samuel entered Jesus' place, he brought the first one, area very huge, and Samuel said, yes, here is the chosen one. To get what? Before he even think what God said, no, I have rejected him. This is not the one. I don't look at the way you human beings, you see things. Mine, I see the heart. They brought, you know, Abinadab. He said, he said, not even this. Seven sons of Jesse came before the man of God. Not until Samuel said, Pushi eyababe nefiaba anabobe wa kwata. David attracted God through his heart. He did not fast. Don't deceive yourself, you know, just because you fast. It is the state of your heart. Not that program you follow people are fasting. Or just because you know that when you fast, you hear the testimony. Someone said, hey, I fasted. When I fasted, I saw a snake, a dead snake in my room. Or a bird just come and die. Then you say, okay, fasting. First of all, you need to check the state of your heart. Before you start thinking of fasting. When David appeared, he said, yes, here is the king. The smallest in the family. The one who was in the bush. The father did not even think about David to be something in this life. But the heart of David attracted God. And David became the great king. No one can make you great. If you become great today and it is not Jesus, that greatness cannot last for a while. It's just for a minute. Before you know it, you will be crying. There are people who were dancing and dancing maybe last year or years back. Today, they are crying. Where is that joy? Where is that glory? Any glow that you get by yourself, you cannot sustain it. Because you don't know how to live. You don't know how to protect yourself. Like I said, you cannot fly a plane unless if you go to school. You learn when you start with the first leading and lighting. You understand the engine, the way the plane you operate. You need to go through the... Pro that is life, people of God. And the, the one who can lecture you about life is Jesus. Oh, you are not understanding this one. The one who can teach you how to live a very powerful and successful life is Jesus. The man who doesn't know how to fail. The man who doesn't consult anyone. The man who is able to do what your father, your mother cannot do. When Jesus stands on your side, you become dangerous. You become unstoppable. You become power. Anything that you say, 
shall come to pass. People may not agree with you, but the power of Jesus who forced them to see the fruit, they say, ah, ah, he said it, and it has come to pass. Because of their shame, they will not say, okay, we agreed. No, they will keep on looking at a distance. But you with Jesus, you are assured of what you are doing and where you are going. Praise the Lord. So you and me, we were created through him and for him. Understand this. There is no way you can talk to your family members anywhere without network when it comes to phone. How can you pray without Jesus? Because he's the network of your prayer. No one can carry your voice. Even the Holy Spirit cannot operate without the name Jesus. Remember what he said. When you pray, you say in the name of Jesus. I know in our lifetime, there are so many distorted gospel. People, the way they are preaching now, they want to mislead those who are babies in the spirit. It is only Jesus, the ladder to the throne of mercy. Hmm. Listen, let me repeat this one again. For God was pleased to have all things, or I mean, all his fullness dwell in who? Is it your grandfather or my grandfather? Is it in you? The name Jesus. Look at this question in that book of Matthew 8, 26. When Jesus was in the boat, and here is the might wind, started now tossing the boat. Deliberately, Jesus was sleeping. You can't sleep on the sea. No. If you are not sure of where you are going and your protection and you know the danger when you are on the sea. Deliberately was sleeping. Here is the wind. Where are you Look at this. Master, master, to a laugh for money, you will offer your cola. Yes, so our lolisha, very much what they should take a lochin on. Quimmy of your cobok. Mela wonfu. I mean, she and Akila. Mamma, we have a son when game your cobok. Tate you, Mela wonfu. Mala fila pamona ben. Imi akaba kwete tai kwete nchito. Ni fuatu penda tia baba kote. Nga chaisa kuri lesa. Bonse tiri ba bebi. Are you telling me that uh, for this man to kill a lion with his bare hands? Abon fesha maka ya kumubidi. Is it possible? It's not. It's not. Only the name Jesus. Only what? He is the means of that life you are calling. If you want to succeed, Jesus must be part of your life. There's no need even to stand here and you start preaching against your brother or your sister. You are wasting your time. Our common enemy is the devil. And our savior is Jesus. You need to connect yourself to Jesus. You will die like David did. David Afilena Maka. Ale Yendel and Shabelenga Patvale Mikatidila. No. Until the man became old. I am not saying we should pray to reach the seventy. I think there is no good life when you reach eighty. Sorry to our fathers and mothers who are eighty. Because I, I don't see any joy. I don't see any joy. Is it because of food? Where you cannot move freely. You are eating, but the, uh, you are not moving. Uh, uh, there is a, 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 I think I have done. I am done with the world. Mm? Unlike a situation, where, do you know the reason why to fight Latika? We don't know where we are going. If you know that heaven is your home, when you go there, you become a 15 year, I mean 15 years old boy or a girl. Are you going to hold on to this world? No. I want you to know about this. 
Make no mistake, people. Of, don't be deceived by anything. Jesus is the reason why you are there. If it was not like that, Ichalole sangari ona ulakale. Uwa lengo kwa tle satuwe sheni nani? Imwenga te tunfu kuli Yesu. Nishtule kano kuikala. Nishtule kana life. Tule kana healing. Tule kana deliverance. May the Lord God Almighty enter your heart and enable you to see life beyond money and food so that you position yourself for his attention. What you become tomorrow, next week, if it is not because of Jesus, you are just testing good things. The enemy will come and snatch it away from you. Look at this life now. Thank you. God bless you.